Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in. Um, for all of you returning viewers um, from the first video, much appreciate it. Uh, that's, I'm being completely sarcastic. Nobody has watched my first video yet, so, uh, which is fine. I didn't make it for, and or expect to get millions of views. So, uh, yeah, if you're tuning in for the first time, if this is the first video of mine that you ever watch, um, my channel uh, I, I just created is basically um, going to follow my journey from being in my eyes, in my own eyes, in my own personal opinion, a loser in, in many ways, or, or at the very least an underachiever to um, somebody who's virtuous and somebody who who can manifest in the world what he truly desires and and needs and beyond that what the people who are around him truly desire and need and that's yeah that's this channel is just me doing the best to document my journey towards that and it's going to be through the establishment of uh, three pillars. So you have the physical pillar, like my body, because I'm really, really um, out of shape, overweight right now. Just don't feel good at all in my body. I have an injury that has been nagging me for years, a chronic injury. The second pillar is um, my mentality or my mind, and I think that can arguably be, they're all, all the pillars are essential, but the mind is, is key, it's like, man, if you, you know, and my mindset has been terrible, like, I've been victimizing myself, and um, really just interpreting life in a very negative light for a long, long time, when there's really no need for it, um, and the third pillar is um, my emotions, because, you know, through those negative interpretations, uh, negative emotions spawn. And that's, fuck, man, once you, you get that cycle of negative emotion, and I'm sure I'm speaking to some people who understand exactly what I'm talking about. Like, it doesn't matter if you have everybody else in the world telling you that you're amazing. You don't believe them. And, and you fall back on, you know, these detrimental thoughts so anyway i didn't make this video just to discuss the uh what the channel's about that's why i have an introduction video so uh what i made the video about today or what i'm going to discuss is something that happened to me yesterday i uh i played basketball my whole life and i haven't really been playing the last couple of years and and even probably since i graduated high school really much at all and a lot has to do with like an injury like I was saying I have a chronic injury but um, the last two years obviously the pandemic as well like we literally gyms have been closed and it's been uh, even the little bit that I played I, I haven't been able to at all so there the town that I'm from now that restrictions are sort of lifting up the town that I'm from every year normally um has a, a tournament it's called the old timers tournament and it's basically i mean you can guess it. it's all of the people from the town and, and their relatives and um, family members who are related to them and stuff like that uh, essentially form four teams so there's four different we have this area in my town called the cross so it's essentially all of the four sectors of my town um establish a team and we uh we go head to head and go for the championship it's actually uh pretty fun pretty good time i always enjoyed it the last time i played we won so you know no big deal don't be impressed but uh yeah i i was asked to play by uh, an old friend of mine who i used to play basketball with in high school this guy's really talented player and he, he asked me to play uh, probably like six weeks ago and I said to myself you know okay well you know my body's not feeling good 
whatever. But I told him I'd play. Like I, I just sort of casually told him I'd play. And that's sort of a re reoccurring theme in my life where I overpromise and underdeliver. But I'll get to the underdelivering part in a minute. So six weeks ago, asked me to play. And I'm like, I'm thinking, fuck, man, that would be fun. Like, I, I have six weeks. I can get my body good. If I do uh, stretching and tissue work every day, like, um, I'm going to be feeling great. Like, you know, and even if I'm not feeling great, I'll be feeling a hell of a lot better relative to what I feel now. So I, uh, I didn't do that. I didn't. I procrastinated. And I stuck in the same cycle that I have for the last eight months and, and just sort of put things off and put things off. And it got down literally to like three days before. And in um, before the tournament, there since the school, the middle school in my area is opening up now to the public as well, uh, you can rent gym time. So all of the guys from my town were like renting an hour a week of gym time where we could all go and play because everybody's out of shape, man. And a lot of these guys are like, you know, 40s, 50s. Um, you know, it's the old timers tournament. Like they're guys who have been in the town for years. And, uh, you know, we, I went to the first one and then I skipped the, the next two before the tournament for, just because I, I, victimize myself until oh i'm not feeling good this sad oh my hip hurts you know whatever which are true but not good reasons like true but not useful they're not good reasons not to do something you know it's you'll feel better or i i know that i'd feel better after i played even if i was in pain because it's fun it's enjoyable rather than laying at home and doing nothing but anyway i i skipped so the person who asked me to play a couple of days before, he's like, man, like, are, are, you're, you're playing. I'm like, and I lied. I told him that I was feeling sick, that I had a flu, that I was, you know, tested for COVID and that it wasn't COVID. So he didn't have to worry about that. But, you know, I, I probably wasn't going to play. And if you're watching Austin, I, I'm sorry that I lied. I'm sorry to everybody that I lied. Um, but one thing that I will say is the the fact that I was sick is is not true. The fact that I feel like shit mentally, physically, and emotionally, that is true. So with my interpretation of, of this event, I was for the last six weeks sort of slowly encroaching on the idea like, Oh, if I play, I'm going to hurt myself. If I play, I'm going to feel like shit. If I play, I'm going to embarrass myself. If I play, I'm going to let the team down. All of those negative emotions swirl through my head. Then physically, of course, I'm not doing the work. I'm not um, trying to stretch and, and get back to uh, a good level of physical fitness or as, or as good as it can be um, before the tournament. So I was feeling like shit. I was feeling terrible. Then on top of that, my sleep schedule is horrendous. And the night before the tournament, or excuse me, I, so the tournament happened on Sunday and our first game was at 1030. Without going in, in depth, because I don't want to make this video too long. I woke up on Saturday. This is how bad my sleep schedule was. I think I got to sleep at like 6 a.m. on Saturday morning slept until like I want to say three maybe no it was like five it was like it was something like that it was something silly anyway uh, we'll get into that in a different video but I uh, I didn't sleep Sunday night at all like and when I say I didn't sleep like I literally played video games all night so I was essentially up for uh let's see seven and then ten and a half so i was up for 17 and a half hours when the first game happened which i told him i wasn't going to play at 
but I, I said I'd show up. So I did. I, I just showed up and, you know, they were up by like 20. And it turns out that my buddy Austin, when I show up, it's only like, you know, the second quarter. And he's on the bench. And this is our star player, really, really good basketball player. And he's like clutching his knee. Turns out he just potentially um, tore his meniscus. And in our first game now, we're, we're blowing these guys out with our other players. But he's basically like, man, can you suit up? And I'm there, like, sleep deprived, feeling like shit, didn't, didn't want to play at all. And I'm just, you know, hadn't really, I haven't been out in society very much in, like, the last two years, let alone the last eight months. Like, and there's so many people there, and I'm getting overwhelmed. And I, I was scared, and I'm just like, well, whatever, you know. Yeah, uh, they need me. Like, I'll play. And anyway, so I got my gear. I showed back up. Even got in for a couple minutes at the end of that game. Felt like absolute shit. Like, I'm talking to other people in the area that I knew from, like, high school um, and stuff like that. And parents of... Uh, those people who were like hey how are you doing stuff like that and just sort of talking shooting the shit whatever and it's funny i as as that day went on um even though and that that's the moral of what i'm trying to tell in the story and i'm fucking terribly long-winded with my story so <laughs> i apologize but um the moral of what I'm trying to get at is essentially I I didn't want to play. I told myself for weeks that it was not a good idea. F didn't have, didn't sleep, literally didn't even go to bed the night before. I pulled an all-nighter, stayed up. And feeling like absolute shit. Barely, I've barely been eating at all. Probably in the last three days I've consumed like, 2,000, 3,000 calories. I'm six foot three. Like, that's anyway. So, I'm just feeling terrible in all aspects. And I started to feel good when I was there, talking to people and working together with people for a common goal and doing something that I love and enjoy playing basketball. And anyway, we ended up winning the game. I didn't attribute anything because I only played like two minutes. And we get to play in the championship game at 2.30. So I sort of like eat an apple and I'm kind of talking to some people for a while. And that's sort of just what I do. And I'm stretching and trying to get as limber as possible for this game because I'm, I'm basically the best player on our team. So I, I, if I don't perform, like we're not going to win. And surprise, surprise, we didn't win. We got smoked. The, the other team was really good. They, they have a lot of good players. And we had like seven players. And our star player um, is literally sitting in O patients trying to see if he has a torn meniscus. So we didn't even win. But And I was fucking dying out there. I literally had two. Uh, both my calves were cramping. I couldn't, um, I literally couldn't run. It was actually hilarious probably watching me. I was shuffling around the court just like shooting jumpers because that, that's all I could do after the end of the second half and uh, just trying to grab rebounds as best I could. But I had so much fun. Like, like all of those things that I told myself were false it, it, it was and it seems so simple like yeah of course you had fun man you're playing basketball with friends whatever but when you're so mentally toxic to yourself and your self-talk is so bad you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel and you don't imagine that such an amazing feeling can come from such a dismal looking time and I just remember my body 
like I've worked and played basketball and, and played sports and I, I'm strong man like but my body hasn't felt strong for a long long time because I've been uh, procrastinating and I've, I haven't been training and I've been running away from hard things but I'm so thankful yesterday that I dove into something that was scary you know I it's sometimes you need a little catapult sometimes you need a little push and the first video I made in this channel was meant to be that video to initiate the progress right and it didn't happen because I'm just like most people who are not feeling good about themselves we're really good at lying to others about it we're really good at you know um, concealing how we feel because for I mean others knowing sometimes makes you feel worse you just want to fit in like it's and and there's various other reasons we do it but yesterday just it reconnected me with the spirit that I've been developing for years which is that of a warrior you know and I had so much fun man I had so much fun it's unbelievable based on you know if you looked at that from a bullet point perspective like you give me all the bullet points like hasn't played basketball in two years um hasn't slept in 24 hours like is completely out of shape um mentally weak all these different things emotionally damaged like or emotionally drained like all these different things and then has to play two grueling games of basketball it's like how could that be fun and it it didn't feel good it, i was in pain man i was gasping for air i was stepping outside to get fucking the wind blow over my face but it was so fun it was so fun and anyway I just wanted to I just wanted to talk about that and just get that off my mind while the story is fresh and and I think that I think that we all can learn a lot from diving into something that is scary because oftentimes it's the fear isn't an inherent quality of what we're experiencing it's a an interpretation that we have there isn't you know yeah a fighting a bear that is scary whether or not you interpret it as scary or not that that shit's wild but in civil society there's so many things that we're scared of that we have no reason to be and i'm speaking for myself when i say that and I, i'm just looking forward I'm looking forward to tracking my progress on this channel. Um, in the upcoming days, I'm going to... So today, actually, I woke up at 5 a.m., man. I fucking... Of course, I passed out last night when I came home super early. I'm going to start waking up at 5 a.m. You guys can see the window in the background. Um, the sun is rising. Um, and, yeah. We're going to start grinding. Um... I'm going to start grinding. And it's it's going to be really fun. It's going to be really hard, but I'm okay with that. You know, I I've, I've done a lot of hard things in my life and many of them I haven't seen the light at the end of the tunnel. But I have a I have a light. I have those three pillars and as I construct them and they support my, um, you know, castle or whatever, you know, uh, as I support my life, those three pillars, it's going to bring me up towards the light. And, and I truly believe and feel that. And yesterday was a perfect testament to exactly what will come if you simply just dive in. If you just, you don't have, like, you're never going to feel perfect. 
and often you're gonna feel like shit like we live in in this world where comfort is a fleeting resource like it's not you know and and oftentimes it's deceptive comfort right like you eat a donut and it's two seconds of mouth pleasure for two hours of a belly ache you know so i'm gonna start diving into the things that are rewarding in the long run and essentially that's going to include i'm just going to go quick i'm already 20 minutes into this video um because my storytelling needs some work but i uh i'm going to quickly um examine what i'm going to be making videos about so over the next i mean the rest of my life but especially the next like four to six months I'm going to be making a body transformation video. So I'm going to be doing calisthenics and other forms of exercise. And we're going to be tracking, I'm going to be tracking the um, progress of just my body development going from slightly overweight, I, yeah, slightly overweight and uh, out of shape for sure to, we'll see, you know, whatever. On top of that, um, I'm going to be doing a tissue work program that I actually bought a couple years ago. And it's, I'm going to be um, talking about the chronic injury that I have and, and if I receive any benefit from that um, program. So that's going to be another series. Then another, even another series I talked about in my introduction video, I'm going to be doing a teeth, um, I guess, facial... Uh, development series so I have you guys can probably see there's like a appliance in my mouth as we speak that's why I have like a little bit of a lisp and that uh, I'll get into that obviously more in that series but um, qu very quickly if you look up mewing m-e-w-i-n-g that will give you a little sneak peek or a really great idea of what I'm going to do with my with my teeth because for the right now um, they don't touch and that's called an anterior open bite had that for many years and the only other option um, besides um, mewing or orthotropic um, orthotropics is having surgery and I don't want to do that I don't think that's necessary so Another series I'm going to be doing is uh, um, talking about relationships and what I've done wrong in relationships recently. One of the main reasons that I'm so emotionally battered right now is because I've I've been in a relationship with someone who I dearly dearly care about and love and I've truly let that person down and I beat myself up about that and I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I can do about that but who knows man I'm just taking it one day at a time I got up this morning at 5 a.m. I stretched for an hour and uh, foam rolled, drank some water, brushed my teeth, just did the simple things, and I'm going to keep that going. And I'm looking forward to the, to the next video, and I hope um, anybody that ends up tuning into this will find some sort of inspiration from the story that I told you. And realistically the inspiration should not only be from the story but it should be from the progress so i hope that i provide you with convincing enough progress that you're just like man i can do that too anyway i really have nothing else to say i'm just looking forward to the rest of the day and uh i'm gonna get some stuff done so I hope everybody else has a good day, and thanks for tuning in.